here with my next video and in this one I'm talking about when and where to deploy hogs at Town Hall 9. So um, this also applies to Town Hall 10, Town Hall 8 obviously uh, when using hogs there. It's kind of an overarching principle of using hogs and um, there's a lot of different factors that should go into when you're using hogs but for this video I'm going to talk about something uh, specific that I call the hog lane. So when you're attacking a base with hogs, the things you're looking to take out before you deploy your hogs are the queen, the CC troops, and any possible double giant bomb spots you want to get uh, triggered by something other than your hogs, hopefully. Um, and once you get more, you know, scaled and advanced, you can maybe do suicide hogs and some different types of deployment. But this is kind of a simpler... Uh, thing to look for for a, maybe a newer hog attacker but also an, adv an, an advanced and experienced attacker can benefit from doing this as well because everyone every good attacker subconsciously looks for a hog lane um, it's kind of a term I've come up with but it's something that uh, no matter what you call it you're typically looking for on a base and it's the part of the base where you say I can send my hogs through this part of the base and there's no risk of a double giant bomb spot being there so in this video I'm going to show three different bases and talk about where the hog lanes are. Maybe not the most exciting video, but it's something that I think is going to be helpful to a lot of people. To a lot of people, um, so it's important for me to uh, show you guys this because uh, for using hogs, this is an essential principle of hog deployment. So on this base specifically, uh, you can see here the hog lane is probably going to be this area right here. Um, it doesn't just mean that there's no two by four spaces because there, I mean there might be a few, but um, Excuse, let me do that again. Just I don't want to include that area, including the expo, but not the wizard tower, because there could be a double giant bomb spot between that, and I think there is. But that's the part of the base where you can say, okay, my hogs can go through here, and they won't don't have a risk of a double giant bomb spot, and that's when you where you want to send your hogs through. You want to use your kill squad to disable everything else, pretty much, because there's stuff here, possible set there, possible set here. Um, you know, there's a lot of gaps in the base down here. It could be single bombs, but the the, the top is pretty compact, and uh, that's typically going to mean that there's a good hog lane there. So you want to send your hogs through either like this or back the other way like that. So that's how you want to do it for this base specifically. Um, and you have different tools you can use to get the rest of the base taken out. You can use a split hero attack, so maybe a queen walk uh, for one part of it, and uh, bring a ki the king, a golem, maybe even a few valks, and take out another part of the base. Um, obviously the queen and the CC troops have to be taken out, so somehow you have to get to the queen. Um, so you're going to have to go somewhat deep into the base, maybe drop a jump here and come in like that, something like that, but what, no, wh whether how, no matter how you do it, you have to um, disable the rest of the base, then you can send your hogs through on the hog lane, and I guarantee you'll get the best value out of your hogs if you send them through a spot like this, where you know there's no double giant bomb spots. Now obviously you still have to heal your hogs. I mean, there could be single bombs and there's a lot of damage usually on the hog lane because it's a compact area with a lot of defenses usually. So for this hog lane, you might need two heals. Um, and if you send your hogs through, you're gonna try have one in this area and one in this area. That's just kind of how it works. You might be able to get away with one heal if you're lucky. Um, and if you do a surgical style, you can probably get away with one heal. Uh, just because you'll deploy hogs later at full health. But regardless, this is the area you want to send your hogs in on. So let's take a look at a different base and um, see how it is the same, how it's different. Uh, let's see. Taking a look at this space. And this one is a little bit trickier. You guys might not see it at first, but there is another hog lane despite how uh, spread out it is. So... Um, taking a look at it first thing where could there be double giant bombs um, on this base obviously he could have some kind of setup in the core I think you know there could be a set there with like a Tesla here and a Tesla here on those kind of dead space cores there's all there's always a possibility there's some kind of monkey business going on in the core um, there could be probably the most obvious one to me is a Tesla there and the bombs like that between the air defense and the Tesla that would be the where I would guess they would be um, I think he could, he could fit them here with the Tesla, then the, the bomb set there. So it has a few different possibilities. Um, I think those two are probably the most likely, but also something in the core is possible. But the hog lane on this base is going to be this whole section. 
because there's no good double giant bomb spots in this section. Now, obviously, yeah, there could be something in here, but realistically, no, there's not going to be. If a guy's going to spend this long on a base, having an anti three star base, he's not going to put his, his double giant bomb set uh, in that poor of a location where it could be triggered so easily, especially because it's near the queen. If you, the, uh, the best hog lane is often near the queen because that's where the, the person uh, is not going to put the double giant bombs. So yeah, looking for the hog lane is a little bit of inference, but it's also a little bit of just looking at where the defenses are, seeing that uh, in this area specifically, there could be no double giant bomb spots and just sending your hogs through. Uh, now you have to use your kill squad to take everything else out. Um, the queen is kind of in the hog lane, so you're probably going to have to get pretty deep into the base, probably get your kill squad into this area, have the queen hop out and take her out, and then once she goes down, um, your hogs are pretty much safe to go through, assuming you took the rest of the base out for the most part. Um, but yeah, that would be the hog lane on this base. Let's take a look at one more base, um, and then I'll wrap this thing up. Kind of a short video, like I said, not a whole lot of attacks or anything. Well, not any attacks, but I think it's an important principle. So I wanted to get it out here, and uh, if you guys think this video is kind of pointless, you know, so be it. But uh, I think it is going to help some people, and it's it's it's, it's even... Uh, it's helpful for me to do this because it reiterates the principles to me. So, um, this base is a little bit different, but when you're looking at it, a pretty standout spot is right here. Now, obviously, that wizard tower is kind of giving you the opportunity to trigger it one at a time, but it's still a, um, a pretty viable spot. So, I would guess that there might be something going on in there. Um, but besides that, the rest of this base really doesn't have any spots in it. Um, yeah, your, your hogs are pretty much free, so one possible thing you could do is come in with the kill squad here, and then a good hog lane would just be like all the way around the base like that, just in kind of a U, like a half circle, just maybe come in with the kill squad there, then start your hogs here, and just let them go around, and the, the pathing your hogs take is shaped by your kill squad, so by your kill squad taking out maybe this section of the base, then when you send your hogs in here, naturally they have to go to the left to get to the next defenses. And then there's a nice little space by these uh, two non-defense buildings that pushes everything out here. You can reinforce and just work your way, way around because the kill squad is what really forms the hog lane. When you see a hog lane on the base, you want to take out certain defenses so your hogs are going to follow that lane. Um, because if you send in your hogs without creating a hog lane, um, if you send them in here, they're probably just going to go up here, you know, get blown up by the double giant bomb spot. Obviously, the queen's still up, but uh, you really have to, assuming the queen's not there, you have to take out defenses to guide your hogs in the correct way. And that can be done by other hogs using your deployment method to kind of funnel your hogs along one certain path, or just by you bringing a kill squad or a queen walk or something, taking out a strategic part of the base and uh, guiding your hogs in the correct motion. And obviously you could go back around this way. You know, either one works. But uh, yeah, that's it for this video though. If you guys have questions, drop them in the comments below. Let me know if you like this video and I'll try to keep the Clash 101 series going and uh, maybe some more attacks in the next Clash 101 video. This one was kind of dry, uh, but I actually lost these attacks, unfortunately. From the Team ONT Elite War. Got a special video coming out today also. So that